Hey guys! For today's video, I will be doing a review and as well as few swatches with our product for today, which is NYC City Duets. And this is a two in one lipstick. And I picked three shades out of the 10 that they have. And um, the three shades that I picked, these are the top three shades that suits my skin tone and I can do a lot. I can wear these shades quite often. Um, they're not very limiting. And um, the good thing with this, they, um, they were saying it's like two different shades in one stick, but actually it's gonna be three different shades because the two shades, you can blend them. They're very, very blendable, plus they're very pigmented. And this was released uh, February of last year, 2012, and um, I just got a hold of this a month ago. Why it took me so long <laughs> to figure this out. I was pretty anxious at first. That's why I never picked this NYC City Duets. I was like, uh, maybe it's just not really that good. So I picked one, and then I love that one, that uh, um, one shade which is the Rockefellers and I fell in love with it and I was like I should get more shades so here are a few of my swatches for the three shades that I picked and the three shades are I got the Empire Lilacs I got the Hot Pinks and I also got the Rockefellers so, so first I got the Empire Lilacs here on the lighter side, this is the frosted end, and the darker side is the creamy end. The darker side, the shade is a cream plum, and the lighter side, it's a frosted, um, frosted purple. So this is the lighter side that I'm using right now, and this is my swatch. This is the lighter side, so I'm gonna have a makeup remover and remove this and we will switch to the dark side. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a swatch for the darker side. So this is the third shade for the Empire Lilacs. I just top it off with the lighter side, the, the cream plum, which is the darker side for the Empire Lilacs. I top it off with a frosted purple shade that we did the very first swatch. So moving on, we have our next um, color, which is the Hot Pinks. And these are pinks with blue undertone. So on the lighter side, by the way, both of the sides are frosted. On the lighter side, it's a frost icy, or some people say it um, baby pink. And on the dark side, it is a frosted fuchsia with blue undertone. I mean, both of, both of them got blue undertones, so both of them are frosted, so. Let me proceed with my swatch. So let's do. So this is the lighter side. So now let's do a swatch for the darker side. So now for our third shade, I am topping off the darker, the fuchsia pink with the iced pink side, which is the dark, the lighter side. <laughs> I just get all confused. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I got lost. Now guys, moving on for our last um, shade 
which is the Rockefellers. And as what I told you during the opening spiel, that this is the reason why I got hooked up to this line. It's creamy peach salmon color. And then the lighter side, it's a frosted coral. So on to my swatches. So I got the lighter side first. The frosted coral. I love coral lipsticks. So moving on, let's do a swatch for the darker side and this is the peach salmon and this is a creamy one. I'm just so amazed how pigmented it is. So now for a third shade, I'm gonna top this off with the lighter side, which is that coral, the frosted coral. So this is the third shade. Sorry guys, I apologize. I told you a while ago that the Rockefellers one is cream, one is frosted. I am going to correct that. Both of the sides are creams, okay? Um, to sum it all up, the Empire Lilac, it's one frost and one cream. So the darker side is a cream plum. The lighter side, it's a frosted purple. For the Rockefellers, it's two creams, uh, one bright coral, and a peach salmon. So the peach salmon is the darker side and then the bright cor cor coral is the lighter side. And the hot pinks, both of the sides are frosted. So you got a frosted baby pink on the lighter side and um, a frosted fuchsia on the darker side. And also both of these pink shades are got blue undertones. So yeah. So those were my swatches. So um, final thoughts for these three products. The pros for these products, well, the price. So like for three shades in one stick, that is really a great deal. Um, another pro would be it's very, very moisturizing. It doesn't bleed, nor does it feather. Another pro, it's very innovative, you know? I mean, you get three different shades in one stick, and it's very blendable. Like, the, the comp because both colors, even if it's dark or light, they're complementary colors. So when you blend it, like what I'm doing right now, wearing right now, <laughs> Like what I'm wearing right now um, yeah they are very very easy to blend but the con for this one that I can think of it's the scent because it's scent it's fragrance it's it reminds you of that perfume that your grandma is wearing I mean no offense grandmas but you know what I mean? It got like that type of scent. That's the only con that I can think of for this product. So, I mean, this is really a good bang for your buck. For $2.99, you get three different shades. So, hope you guys would try the shades. Um, this NYC City Duet 2-in-1 lipsticks. And if you already tried this, please let me know in the comments box below um, what were the shades that you tried and what are those that you didn't like about this product but for me i am so obsessed with this Rockefellers. it's a bright coral but it's wearable type of bright coral and when i say wearable because it really depends where you guys work but with my line of work that i work in the hospital once again, I don't get reprimanded by my boss for that wearing too much makeup look. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you learned something from this. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye!